Hello everyone, today I'm going to be unboxing some curly clip-in hair extensions. And I purchased these from Amazon. They are by the company Lacer Hair. This is the box. And I got the 22 inch Jerry Curl. It claims to be 100% virgin hair. So I'm going to measure it for you guys, check the color, um, see how long it is, see if it matches my curl pattern. Um, my curls are probably like this. I have to wash it today, so that's why it's in this strange hairstyle that I'm not used to. But it does look kind of cute on camera. So without further ado, let's open this up. It comes in this pouch, and right off the bat, it looks like it kind of matches. They gave me a pair of lashes and then some extra little clip-in things. And I don't know if I'll ever wear these lashes because they're pretty intense. This little tag is a hair care thing. It says wash and condition regularly. Do not rub or twist hair. Do not expose to sun. Do not brush curly hair. Comb it gently with your fingers from end to top. So the hair definitely looks brown, which I do not want. I'm going to have to tone them and make them look more black. The first one we have here is the four clip one. Here are the two two clip ones, a three clip, another three clip, a two clip, and a one clip, which is like weird. I don't understand. I feel like there should be two of these. So it looks to me like this curl pattern is bigger on top and then it gets smaller at the bottom. And the ends are a bit awkward, so I think I'm going to have to cut them. I really can't tell if this is human hair it's super soft it really does feel like human hair um there are some tinges of red but i'm going to kind of hold it close to my hair you can see the more brown tone now compared to my actual hair i believe this is 22 inches stretched out i wish they would measure these 22 inches curly because like that would be more helpful to us but when it's curly, it is 11 inches. I am going to clip some of these in my hair right now so I can see what it looks like. I'm going to separate some of these curls because they don't look natural right now. They also don't have any product, so it's going to get a little bit frizzy, but I'm okay with it. This is the length. I don't see much of a difference from my hair, my real hair. Um, it's a little bit longer, but I think that when I style it and do um, a style where I'm pulling the curls down, it'll look longer. So I am going to take these out and after I wash my hair, I'm going to put these back in and then I'm going to style them with you guys and hopefully that turns out way better because it's kind of awkward right now. So I just decided to do a test and try to tone one of the pieces. So I used the Shea Moisture Omega 369 um, hair mask. The blue semi-permanent color that I have is the Vera, Vero? <laughs> Vero K-Pack um, color intensity semi-permanent sapphire blue and this is a very very dark blue it's super dark so mixed together i got this color and i put that all over a two two clip um is this called a weft i don't even know but i put it all over and i'm gonna let this sit and then rinse it and then we can compare and see how it turns out this has been sitting i'm going to rinse them and hopefully they look way better so I've styled the hair and it looks really nice. I styled it with the Dew Curl Super Stretch Coconut Curl Elongator and I did stretch them out a bit. The only thing that I'm not happy with is some of this is separating and it's a bit weird at the bottom. Like it's doing that broken telephone cord thing. So here's a comparison of the hair with the toner. This on the right is toned and you can see two of the curls that are tighter. Um, those are not dyed. So this side is the dyed and styled and this is the raw hair. And as you can see, I was able to stretch the curl out compared to this one and look at the length difference. But I do think I'll be 
chopping off a little bit so it doesn't look so straggly at the ends. Hey guys, so it's the next day and as you can see my hair is washed and it's at its curliest. I didn't separate my curls yet so they're still kind of clumped together. But I want to show you guys the extensions. I actually made a modification. I took one of the two clip sections and I sewed it onto the back of a three clip section to make it thicker. And since I'm going for length, these will be clipped on the bottom of my head. So I just really needed some volume and I think I'm still going to trim off those little tiny curls because they're so tiny. So to my right is the regular three clip and then this is the one with the two clip attached to it. Such a big difference. I'm going to go in with the one that I modified first. So sectioning curly hair for extensions is not easy. I'm going to have to style as I go because it's just poofing up when I try to separate my hair. So I'm going to get some product and wet my hair and put some in because I think this is the only way it's going to work out. I'm just tugging on the hair a little bit to make the curls like less together because my hair doesn't actually do that and detangling it or separating the curls just does not work out very well. If I do that, it just gets a little frizzy, but I might have to because it just looks a bit strange. So in my opinion, this does not look like my real hair. My next option is to actually curl these so they're a little bit bigger and the only curling iron that I could use is this ancient Conair one and I'll probably only use from here up because it's small enough. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to have to do because this is way too tight of a curl for my hair. I thought that maybe it could work but it does not work. Okay. So I'm back and I've been curling my hair and look at the difference. This looks like my hair and this just doesn't. So I've been curling it with the extensions in my hair, but I know that I won't be able to get to the back. So I'm going to end up taking them out. I actually have to leave, so there's no time to do this right now. I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, so it's the next day and I have curled the hair. It is very close to my curl pattern. I'm going to bring it all to the front so you guys can check it out. Now, keep in mind that my hair is not cut correctly for the extensions. I think that if my hair were actually this long, which it will be next year hopefully, I would have one extension, I mean one layer that's a bit shorter like that. It looks pretty decent. I did have to style my hair as I was layering it, like doing the layers to put the extensions in. So with every horizontal section before I put the clip-ins, I would spray my hair with water and then put in some styling product. And if you've done curly extensions before, then you probably already know that, but if this is your first time and you're thinking of ordering, then yeah, putting them in is not going to be as easy as you think. For the ends of my hair, I was putting this in, but this is a bit too heavy, so I switched to the touchable curl definer because once these pieces at the end were curled, they were pretty flat and the rest of my hair was really shiny. So I actually had to put the product in to make it blend in and make it look like my real hair because my real hair is pretty shiny from this. And I also sprayed in some of this. This is the Diva Curl Set It Free Moisture Lock Finishing Spray. I tried this first, didn't really work for the bottoms. So I had to further shine it up. I did clip them in the same way that I did before. The bottom piece is the three clip with the two that I sewed on and then the four clip and then I have a three and a two. Um, I actually moved one over and yeah I'm really excited because this is so fun. I'm going to do a side part because I think it'll make it look a bit more natural because that's actually how I do my hair normally. I don't actually do a um, middle part because my haircut is not exactly like the best right now. Oh my god, I can't wait to have actual hair like this. All well, this got frizzy, like I said, when you section curly hair, it gets a bit frizzy, but 
So my final thoughts on this product are if you have 3B hair, then you're going to have to play with it. I think if you have 3C hair, it'll be really nice. Um, they are a little bit sparse at the ends, so you may have to sew pieces together, which I'm really happy with because I don't really want volume. I know in the review or questions, people were asking if this would do a whole head of hair and no, so they recommended buying two sets. Um, but for just adding length, I think this is a really good option. It was pretty affordable for me. I'm not sure if it actually is human hair. It does feel really nice. It doesn't feel like plastic. And I've had plastic wigs in the past for cosplaying. So I think it might be human hair because yeah. It didn't smell, here I am smelling it. It reacted like human hair does. So I'm going to go. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope this was helpful to you if you were interested in these specific hair extensions or ordering a pair online. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more hair videos and I hope you're having a magical day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.